Hello, adventurers. My name is Mystic Michael. Today, we're going to talk about earning and spending DDO points. Let's hop on in. Hello, and thanks for being here. Let's start with earning DDO points. The easiest way to earn DDO points, of course, is through the in-game favor system by completing quests. You get 25 DDO points per 100 favor that you earn. I hope you also know that there's a lot of first time bonuses that you can earn per server. Once you get five favor, you get 50 bonus DDO points. 25 favor, you get 25 bonus. And then 50 favor, you get another 25. So your first 50 favor on each server, you get 100 DDO points. So if you were to get 50 favor on all eight servers, you would get 800 favor. Um, pretty great way to jumpstart your spending possibilities. Each hardcore server counts as a brand new server. So these first time bonuses are also applicable um, for hardcore. So even if you don't like playing hardcore, it's really great if you can earn at least 50 favor to get an extra 100 DDO points in your bank. Other first time bonuses include 500 favor, you get extra 50 points on top of the 25. And then every 1,000 favor threshold, one, two, 3,000, and so on, you get an extra 100 points. This nifty old chart is on DDO Wiki. You can search for it, find it if you want. It's a great little resource. You can also earn DDO points on a more kind of passive scale if you own the Monster Manuals, Volume 1 or Volume 2. Volume 1, if you're a premium player, um, you get it for free. And then if you're a VIP, you get all Monster Manuals for free. So once you hit certain thresholds of killing certain types of monsters, you get extra DDO points there. Helpful. Now let's talk about how to spend our DDO points wisely. I'm gonna recommend three adventure packs. And honestly, you should start purchasing just adventure packs at the beginning. The more content that you own, the more possible favor you can own, the more DDO points you get. So the number one recommendation that I can give all of you is to purchase Giant Hole. It costs 950 DDO points, which is a hard bargain at first. Um, but it the content is always played. It's played at the heroic levels, it's played at the epic levels. People run Giant Hold all the time. It's got fantastic XP. Um, so once you own the pack, you can level up even faster. You can hit your true reincarnations faster. Reincarnate, your favor resets, and you can earn your standard favor rewards. Um, every reincarnation. My number two recommendation is to either purchase High Road, which you can find in Evening Star, or the Soul Splitter, which is in the Sharn Docks area. Uh, Soul Splitter costs 650, High Road costs 750. Um, these are great level 17, level 18 quests. There's a missing chunk of free to play quests once you hit, honestly, level like 14. There's some sprinkling of like War of the Dust Chain you can do at level 16. Um, some of the Shadow quests in Evening Star you can do at level 15. So there's some three to play quests, but you definitely need another adventure pack between the level 15 to level 18 range. So you can hit level 20 and then reincarnate. So that's why I recommend as my number two, either Soul Splitter or High Road. My number three, Demon Sands or Vault of Night. Both of these adventure packs if you play them in the epic levels, drop tokens of the 12, which are you need 20 tokens to buy a heart to reincarnate your character, either class reincarnate or race reincarnate. Demon Sands costs 950, the same as Giant Hold. Vault of Night, a little cheaper at 750, but I really recommend Demon Sands. It's easy to farm gear in the wilderness area. You can even collect the tokens out there to trade for gear, so you can have epic level gear or even heroic level gear and they're also pretty useful items people run both demon sand and vault of night at both the heroic and the epic levels so both are great choices as you buy more adventure packs keep a lookout for what levels they are really for definitely focus on packs that have epic levels as well as heroic quests counterparts it'll help you get through eventually when you want to go through epic past lives leveling up for the epics you you need adventure packs there's really no free to play quests between levels 20 and 30 there's a couple but like there's like five altogether. <laughs> 
Some more items that you can buy once you feel comfortable with the amount of adventure packs you've purchased. The shared bank is a very great item. It is a bank that you can share between all your characters on a specific server. Costs 1,495 DDO points, super useful. And then hopefully everyone knows that the 10th anniversary pack is an item you can purchase in the DDO store. It costs a whopping 3,995 points, but it includes a plus eight Supreme Tome. So you get a tome for all of your stats plus eight, a shared bank upgrade, which gets you another 10 slots for your shared bank. And it gets you a heart of blood so you don't have to farm 20 more tokens. Uh, to reincarnate super useful item definitely recommended for those that have been playing the game for a bit and you have all the content that you want to own currently so what about the paid expansions that aren't adventure packs this is the isle of dread salt marsh feywild sharn the expansion trove which includes the evening star expansions as well as the mist of ravenloft what, you, what about all of those well you can buy all of those with ddo points in the store they cost a lot starting at about 2500 going up to isle dreads 4000 points but you can spend ddo points on that what i more recommend if you have some extra cash is they do go on sale usually at least 50 percent 75% but especially for the older packs. DDO's anniversary is coming up at the end of February. It's going to be set 17 years old and last year March 2022 um, the sales were 75% off for Sharn and Feywild and then 50% off for Saltmarsh. So expect the end of February the first week of March there should be a sale on the expansion so if you're able to spare a little bit of cash I, I highly recommend, especially Sharn, level 15, level 16 quests to really fill in that gap right before you reincarnate. It's got a lot of great gear. It's got a crafting system. So even if you play these, even if you bought docks, the Soul Splitter pack, you get ingredients for crafting um, for normal Sharn items all around the best expansion for heroic stuff. I really like Feywild at level five and then the Mr. Ravenloft at level 10. Those are kind of the, the trifecta of heroics. Feywild at five, Miss at 10, Sharn at 15. Owning all of those is great. Hopefully the expansion trove will go on sale this year as well. Again, that, that includes the Evening Star packs and the Mr. Ravenloft. Another pack that I would kind of hold out for if it does come back, hopefully it does, is the starter pack. What it used to contain was the Catacombs adventure pack. The level 3 gold cleric hireling it used to include Dragonborn, which is now a free to play race, and the favorite soul, and then some XP potions. Um, I don't remember how much it cost. I can't find it because it's not available at the moment because I think it got taken down because Dragonborn's free. So it hopefully will return at some point. So I, I would hold off on buying Catacombs, hopefully, for the starter pack to come back. Now let's talk about some other rewards you can earn through favor, not just DDO points, but a lot of other unlockables, mostly universal enhancement trees you can earn through favor. So looking at this handy dandy uh, quick reference table, this is on the DDO wiki under favor. And we'll go just kind of row by row what are great things to purchase. So the Agents of Argonesson is favor through the Giant Hold Adventure Pack. Again, super useful because you can get the collapsed portable hole, which gives you more inventory space. You also get 10 extra HP once you hit 150 favor. There's a couple House C, House Caniff quests. You get the Artificer class um, per server basis. So some of these rewards you can only unlock for your character, but some of them, once you unlock them, they're good for all of your characters on the server. Coin Orbs gives you more inventory space for your character before you reincarnate. Free Agents, if you hit 700 favor, you can get the Falconry Enhancement Tree. This is really difficult because you need to basically do every single Free Agents quest. This includes the Titan Raid, not specifically the Part 2 Raid. You can skip that if you want to, but at least the pre-raid of the Titan Raid. Horizon Walker through Gatekeepers. Again, you need all of their adventure packs. This is only, Horizon Walker is only a per character basis. Falconry is also on a only per character basis. Harpers, you can get the Harper Enhancement Tree on a per server basis. So that's pretty useful. Uh, Keepers of the Feather, which is the Mists of Ravenloft favor, gets you Vistani Knife Fighter on a per character basis. Sharn, if you've got the Sharn expansion, you can get Inquisitor on a per character basis. And 
the Inquisitor, the Vistani Knife Fighter, and then the Fey Dark Illusionist through the Fey Wild expansion. Um, those are all very easy to earn through favor. As long as you do every single quest there on Elite, you can earn these basically for free for your character. And even if it's for per character, once you reincarnate, you still have access to it. So it's just not access for all of your characters, it's just for your own character permanently, basically. And then here at the bottom is total favor rewards. Some things you can unlock can, uh, when you're looking at your total favor. So total favor, you can get the Warforge race, so you, you really don't need to buy that. You can earn that even through playing just free to play quests. So you have a thousand, you have the ability to create new characters at level four. 1750, you get a plus two ability tone. Definitely recommend a con tome for more hit points. And then you have 32 points when you're building characters or reincarnating your characters instead of 28. If you're able to get up to 2500 eventually, you get the favorite soul class for free. 3000 favor, you can create new characters at level seven. 5000 favor, which I, I think I've only hit once on my main server. Um, you get a plus five ability tome. And then at 7,500, you can get a plus eight ability to them. So yeah, other things you can unlock by gaining favor. Of course, you need a lot of the adventure packs that tie towards the specific patrons, um, but it is possible. That's why I definitely recommend for your GDO points, buy adventure packs first. You can unlock other stuff later. So I hope this was helpful a little bit, especially for our newer friends. The DDO anniversary is coming up in the end of February. There's usually goodies that they give away and then there's discounts for the expansion packs. They are only cash discounts. You can't really, there's really no DDO point discount in store. Um, so you do have to spend real money, but they are out there. And if they're at least 75% off, they really are worth it to pick up. So yeah, thanks for sticking along. See you next time. Bye.